Hi, my talented artists. Welcome to a new week of art, which means it's time for a new project. So let's see what we need. You are going to need foil paper, a spray bottle with water, Kleenex or a baby wipe, some Q-tips, markers, several sheets of paper, and if you have paint, you can use paint, but this is optional. Let's get started. You're going to start by cutting a piece of foil paper, and you can do that by folding very slowly and, and gently along the edge, and then pulling the foil paper very carefully, or you can just ask someone to help you with that step. Then you're going to go ahead and place your white paper on top of your foil paper and you're going to fold along the edge of your white paper and cut off the extra pieces of foil paper. That way we get the exact same size as your white paper. You can fold your white paper in half, that way you have more sheets of white paper and if you go ahead and do that then you need to make sure that you cut your foil paper in half as well. If you want to work with a bigger sheet of paper, then you don't have to cut it in half. Once your foil paper is ready, you can go ahead and start drawing on it with markers. And you're going to notice how easy it is to draw on the foil paper and how colors will combine very easily. So blending is going to be fun for this assignment. Try not to do anything that has teeny tiny little details. We want to work with areas that are bigger that give us more room for us to color on the inside like I'm doing with my son right here. color to your drawing you're going to grab a white sheet of paper and spray it just a little bit you're going to place the wet part of your paper on top of your foil paper and press it very gently trying not to move it then you'll see how pretty your drawing will print on the white paper you can reuse the same foil paper by cleaning it with your baby wipe and then drying it with the Kleenex or you can just grab a new sheet of foil paper now I'm going to try something with a little bit more detail just so you can see the outcome and how it will look. doing something that's going to take you a little bit longer to finish a drawing then you might have to go over some of your colors again before you print it on your paper now I tried doing some little butterflies on the side of my flower but I don't think you can see them that great but maybe I can save them at the end tracing them with a marker this time I'm going to make something more simple and more colorful, like a rainbow. If you happen to make a mistake on your drawing, it is very easy to erase it. Just like we cleaned your foil paper to reuse it with your baby wipe, you can easily erase your mistakes using your baby wipe as well. <music> This time I'm going to spray more water on my white paper and see what happens. Remember to press very slowly and gently. Wow, that one came out a little messy, but it's okay. That happened because I added more water on my white paper and I had more colors on my drawing. I'm going to make something more abstract and I am just using many different kinds of lines and different colors as well. And I'm going to spray my paper with just a little bit of water like I did for my first drawing and we'll see how it comes out a little bit more cleaner. 
I'm going to do two more examples just for fun before I move on to explaining on how to use paint if you have paint and I will also show you how to trace your drawings with a marker. So I just decided to do a dinosaur in the city in my handprint. Now I'm cleaning my photo again and for this last print I am going to use paint. Remember that paint is optional but if you do have paint, you might want to try it. It is very fun. Right now, I am only going to use my primary colors because we know that red and yellow make orange. And I also forgot to put a piece of paper underneath. We don't want to get our tables messy. So make sure that you place a piece of paper underneath. Going back to our primary colors, we know that yellow and blue make green. And red and blue will make Purple. I'm going to use a q-tip to write my name on this last one. You'll notice how I am writing my name backwards because when I print it, you'll be able to read it correctly. You have to make sure that you are cleaning your q-tip or wiping it every time you clean part of that paint because you don't want to mix it up more. If you're using paint, you do want to spray your white paper a little bit more because since paint is a lot thicker than marker, it will absorb water faster. Now you don't necessarily have to write something with the q-tip. You can also just do a design or you can try to do a drawing on there. Remember that your limit is your imagination. Once you finish all your drawings and they are completely dry, then you can go ahead and start tracing them with a Sharpie or with a black marker. You can also add more details and more drawings on there with your marker. You don't have to trace it with a Sharpie. This is optional. But I do feel like it makes your drawing look a little bit more cleaner and it also gives you the opportunity to go back and add more to your artwork. That was so much fun. I hope you guys had fun too and that you enjoyed doing your project. Please don't forget to take a picture of it when you finish, upload it so you can share it with me. Bye!